Okay guys, uh, welcome to this uh, short tutorial. Now a few of you guys have had problems with the transpose tool and uh, measuring certain things on a ring. So I just want to go over that now. Um, to go into transpose, if we just go to move, now this is in ZBrush 2019, if we go into move then you're going to have the gizmo. Uh, this gizmo is a, a um, tool that allows you to quickly change things and resize, but if we turn the gizmo off we'll go into what's called transpose. Now, just going back to the gizmo a second, um, if you uh, hit this little point here, it will center this tool in between you, in your model, so it'll center it in the center. You can also, um, if you move this, obviously you can move the model around as well. In this case, I've got both of these tools on, so you're gonna see just this move, and uh, it's not really gonna be of any help to you. But, let me just go back. If I just Boolean this out, let me just make a boolean mesh of this and append this boolean in here so I haven't got a boolean like so now you can see I can move this around I can do what I want I can scale it this way you know I can scale it in the middle uniformly or I could scale it on every axis apart from the one that I've selected by hit, holding this and holding alt and that will just do it on the y and the z axis but won't do it on the, sorry on the x axis so if I wanted to not scale it on the Y axis there, I would click, hold the Alt, and then you can do this, and it won't change the width, as you can see there. But moving on to the Transpose tool. Uh, transpose, if we click and turn the gizmo off, we're gonna get this sort of thing happen. Now this allows us to measure quite accurately certain areas. So if you start with a starting block, if I just turn on Polyframe here, you're gonna see that our Transpose tool will actually jump to a point can you see that it's jumping to those points and you know if I move it across here it will jump to all of these points as well all the way across so this allows us to actively measure things so if I just put this over this point I click and I drag and I drag this out you're gonna see it's gonna to jump to each of the points you can also drag across here um, and you can also free move between the two now if you do this it's gonna lock on here now sometimes people have problems because it actually goes, it jumps across the model in a strange way, but you can actually hold the shift key and lock it to that constraining angle. So now you can see I've measured, and you can see up here on the left hand side, it's 4.999, which is five. Um, so let's measure, let's take a measurement across the ring here. So what I do is I click here, and I don't have to press anything on the keyboard, I can do, do what I like. And then go across to here, and it will snap to that end point. And I haven't even had to press the shift key because it snapped to the right place. But if I do press the shift key, it will sort of lock to that point there. And there you can see I'm straight across. Now people have had problems. And I think it's because they've measured kind of like this. They've had the model at an angle and it's done kind of like that, which is like right across the model. So that's not gonna work for us. So you need to just take that angle there and just kind of move in here, not the inner ring, because that'll move the geometry. So you wanna move in here, and you wanna move that back here, and you can hold the shift key. So what I suggest, the quicker way of doing it, would be just to reselect it across and then just jump to where it is. And notice that it is locking to the vertexes. So if I wanted to, I can measure this inner ring area across here, and it would lock to it. Um, like I said, some people I think have had it, they've had the model at a slight angle, and when they clicked across, they clicked. It's kind of jumped to some of the back pieces, like there, which is weird. You know, you don't want to do that. So if you don't want to do that, just make sure that you've got perspective turned off. That's a big one, and you measure straight across. So it will give you basically an orthographic um, angle then. And you can also come in here and just measure to a point in there as well if you wanted to. And this goes with anything that you're measuring. Again, like I said to you, sometimes it's a good idea to just hold that shift key to constrain it to one side. Now, if you pull it down, it will jump to 45 degree increments. I think it's actually 20 degree increments. 20, 40, 60, 80. Uh, 15 degree in increments so you can actually jump to those increments but that's the way of measuring it so and also keep whilst you've got that button pressed 
you know that left mouse button if you release it then it's kind of set and then you'd have to re drag it back in which is fine but doing it this way clicking holding and dragging it snaps as soon as you let go of that and then start clicking this outer ring then you're not going to get that snap functionality okay you can still hold the shift in or lock to those degrees but you won't get that snap going on so sometimes it's best just to click it again and redrag it back out whilst holding that button so really easy to measure across with transpose now transpose you've got three things in here you've got to move so if I've set a start point there and I move this out it's going to move from that position outwards um, the same goes with scale from that place there it's going to scale up based on that position there and rotates exactly the same it will rotate around that starting axis so if I wanted it to start there I'd click in there and rotate but we're mainly using this in ring design for measurements so we're just going across and measuring things like this okay now, there might be occasions where the inside of the ring needs to be measured differently to the other and you can use that again to do that and remember you're snapping you're snapping this in so if I get this straight on you can see that these rings are the same size meaning that you're not off angle like that that's off angle so you can see it's smaller there and bigger there so if I wanted that to be on angle I would have to measure across this way yeah all right so hopefully that's really clear for you that's about using the transpose really easy tool to use but a little bit difficult to kind of get used to I would say also that you do have this ability in here to be able to switch these around as well so you can switch them to different positions off of that first point that you took see so I've taken a point there if I want to look at what that's going to look like on the X I would just bring it straight up and you can notice it's jumping straight to those axis points based on the transpose line that you've drawn out so if I want to measure right across here, I could snap to here. And if I want to see how that is up there, I can just put that up. So you can use this as a measuring guide to find where these things are. Okay, so pretty simple. So get using it.